What up YouTube, it's your boy Professor Sticks and I'm back again with another Call of Duty Warzone video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 things you need to know to start winning more Warzone matches. These are things that we tend to forget when we're playing. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make Warzone tips and tricks videos and I compare the best weapons in Warzone so you can rise to the top. Also, if you're looking for people to play with, people that have mics, people that are down with the same strategy, getting wins or getting high kills, make sure you drop into the discord i will link that in the description below let's get into it the first tip that i want to give you is make sure you are using the right loadout it is important to rock the right loadout to ensure a good chance at winning gunfights it's it's great to experiment but let's be honest in warzone there are only a few weapons that are top tier and so it's important that you are using that to increase your likelihood of winning your gunfights and ultimately getting that win now you want to make sure that you are using the right attachments and so i cover the best attachments on many different loadouts on this channel make sure you go ahead and check out those videos the next tip i have for you is have a purpose and take action it is important to move with purpose and act quickly if you pick up a contract get it done fast if you're looting to buy a loadout or to buy a uav get it done and start doing that if you need to rotate to another power position move quickly and efficiently too many times i see teams in the middle of the road taking a gunfight looting without purpose or rotating around the map with no definitive goal it is important to have a purpose and take action quickly in warzone you never want to be cut lollygagging around in the middle of the open that's how you get beamed and shot and then you're back into the lobby so drop into verdance have a purpose and take action very quickly which brings me to my next tip get your loadout as fast as possible you want to land near a buy station where there are a few contracts so you can buy your loadout and get a uav as fast as possible buying a loadout as fast as you can ensures you win more gunfights and clean up teams that don't get the chance to get theirs landing on a contract or high loot area can ensure you are situated fast enough to win more gunfights and eventually win the game some top places you can land are boneyard military base i recently started landing at lumber which usually has a buy right in the middle or you can land at superstore get super sweaty get that cash get that loadout and start going ham the next tip i have for you to ensure that you start winning more warzone matches and instantly start getting better is positioning you need to start being aware of the map you need to learn how to rotate to power positions and use the gas to your advantage listen the number one thing that will help you win in this game is positioning i've seen people who aren't the greatest at aiming who aren't the greatest at controlling recoil win because they simply had the best position so keeping teams out of the zone is a great way to get high kills and increase your chances of survival in every gunfight you want to be at an advantage and so position is crucial to winning more gunfights and like i said it is important to surviving and getting that win which brings me to the next tip only push buildings if you have to. You do not need to push a building unless you are for sure going to get those kills because most of those players end up staying there till they have to move. So it's best to wait them out, get into a good position and be able to pick them off as they rotate towards the circle. Most buildings only have one to two ways up and that can be a recipe for disaster. And so that brings me to this next super important point that will help you win 100% more gunfights. Okay, I'm boosted. It's gonna help you win a lot more gunfights and that is to limit your enemy's line of sight. Fight from cover. I see too many people in the middle of the street, in the open field, taking on gunfights. You need to start fighting from cover. Listen, even if you see somebody, because you might be in the middle of the field and you see somebody's back to you, that doesn't mean start shooting because if you miss those shots, if you don't get a one shot headshot, they can turn around and literally beam you because you're standing in the open. So take gunfights from positions of power. Take gunfights from cover. There is nothing wrong with setting up in a building or high ground to limit the line of sight of your opponent and give yourself an advantage. With the fast TTK in Warzone, you definitely want to take fights from cover. Now this brings me to another important tip. Don't avoid fights, just know when to take them. Listen, in Warzone to win, you're gonna have to get in gunfights. 
I hate when I'm sitting down with my teammates, we're not getting warmed up, we're not getting those reps in gunfights, and then finally, when we finally get into a gunfight, we lose because we've literally not taken any gunfights. You want to start having more confidence, you want to start engaging in more gunfights, and learning how to win against enemy opponents who, yeah, they might be sweaty, but if you learn how to take those fights, you fight from an advantage, you fight from a power position, you're going to be more likely to win those gunfights. Now, know when to disengage and know when to push when you get a knock. Important, when you down an opponent, that is an important time to either push or to replace and reposition. There are times when you're going to need to back up and reposition to gain an advantage. That's okay. Let's say you're in a bad position. You need to get around and flank them so you can be in a power position. That's a good time to back up. But if you're approaching somebody and you get a knock, you crack their plates, this is a good opportunity to close the distance between you and the enemy opponents and take the fight to them. I can't stress this enough. You want to be catching people off guard. And so movement and getting into power positions are the best ways to win more gunfights. Now, this next tip is absolutely amazing because this is what's going to bring you to the next level in Warzone. You want to get used to using your tacticals and lethals. If you want to start winning more gunfights, you need to start using your tacticals and lethals. Stuns, flashes can be great for closing distance or confusing your enemy. Semtex, C4s are great for putting pressure on your opponent to back up or to move positions. I'm telling you, if you see somebody in one of those two story buildings, you throw a couple Semtexes in there, you run up those stairs, they are going to either stay there and get cracked or they're going to move towards the stairs or they're going to jump out and now you are gonna have that power position. So make sure you start using those tacticals and those lethals. Next up, if you wanna be God tier, I'm talking about winning way more gunfights, you need to start learning how to jump shot and drop shot. It may be difficult to learn, but it will definitely, certainly increase your chances of winning more one-on-ones. Too many times I've been saved by a jump shot, a bunny hop, or a drop shot. So start practicing those techniques and including them in your repertoire so you can start winning more gunfights and ultimately get those wins. Listen, you can really throw off a person's aim with those techniques. So start using them right now 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 lastly if you want to start winning at a high level if you want to start getting way more wins winning more gunfights getting more kills getting the drop on teams you need to start paying attention to the finer details look at your map and gather information if you see a red dot ping it see how far it is if you have a mic no no not if you have a mic Get yourself a mic. This game requires communication and teamwork. If you are playing in anything that is duos, trios, or quads, you need to communicate with clear details. He's on the red roof. He's on the second floor. He's behind that tree. He's behind that rock. This way or he's in front of me, that doesn't work. Using clear communication will help you and your team win more gunfights or rotate to better positions, ultimately helping you win the game. So look at what direction doors are opening in. That can tell you if somebody is coming into the building or if somebody came out of the building. Pay attention to if a contract disappears from the map because that lets you know that there's an enemy team close by. All right, guys, I have a bonus tip for you. All right, a little bit of extra something, something. If you want to increase your chances of winning, start hitting the train for that unlimited recon. That is going to show you where pretty much all of the circles are going to be. And so now you can start rotating into power positions as you advance into the final circle. Make sure you're prepared. Grab things like armor box, a munition box. Everybody should have a kill streak. Make sure you have ghosts and go set up shop. If somebody can rock restock, put them claymores, get them stuns going. I'm telling you, this is a recipe for success to get more wins in Verdansk. All right, guys, that's it for me. I love you guys. The support has been absolutely crazy. Thank you so much for 2000 subscribers. As always, if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, I am streaming over on Twitch Mondays and Fridays where I play with viewers. So make sure you follow me on Twitch. Link in the description below. Guys, as always, make sure you drop into Verdansk and Frag out. Ace.